Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to Pirate Falcon's Let's Play Extravaganza, where today I, President Falcon, and Vice President Akamura are playing Democracy 3. Um, Vice President Akamura. <laughs> so, I'm, uh, I'm a huge, huge fan of political simulators for some reason. Um, I feel like there's not enough of them. Um, so we're taking control of the United States here. I haven't played this game, but I have run the tutorial. I tend to lean Democrat, so we're going with that as my thing, although it, I don't think it matters. Um, so the game looks really freaking confusing when you first jump into it. Um, like, that screen is pretty intense. So all these icons uh, mean things. Uh, white icons are, what are those? Oh, those are uh, situations? Issues. White icons are issues. So you can see what's going on. So like here, one of the, oh no, policies. White is policy. So one of the policies we have implemented, I clicked at random, was subsidized school buses. So the government pays for school buses, um, helping out education and so forth. Yeah. So... What uh, Akamura and I are going to do with this game is we're actually going to play this as if we are running the country uh, with our own views and we're not going to necessarily try to get reelected. We're just implementing our policies and seeing if people like them. We're Obama. Well, <laughs> let's not go that far. We're not Obama. So, okay, so up on the main screen here where everything is confusing, the stuff in the center is what we really care about. That's how much the uh, re uh, the uh, voters care about us. So as you can see, the state employees, the patriots, and the retired really like us, but pretty much everyone else doesn't. But we'll get, we'll, we'll, we'll grow along with that. I can't believe liberal is so unhappy right now. But the cool thing with the game is you can highlight pretty much anything on the screen and see how everything relates to everything. So let's say we really wanted to get the li uh, liberal votes. Whoops, let's go back. Let's say we really wanted to get the liberal votes. We can see jury trial uh, is making them happy. Legal aid is making them happy. Foreign aid is making them happy. Food standards is making them happy. Pretty much everything's making them unhappy. Um, but so it goes. What What's wrong with the intelligence services? Uh, security services are an essential tool, blah, blah, blah. Why? What's what's wrong with you? Well, you don't like it because we have too many, uh, too many, to, because we're spending too much on it? Is that your problem? So I think if I click liberal and click focus, focus group. Oh, these guys are just randomly. Okay, so summary. Okay. Okay, I see. So... Yeah, so for the most part, they're not happy with anything, which is fine. Internet crime. Ugh. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click this uh, this light bulb thing to implement a new policy. And there's a bunch of policies we can go through here. Um, so law and order, one of the first things that attracted my eyes was legalized prostitu prostitution. What do you think, uh, Ms. Vice President? Should we legalize prostitution around here? Sure. <laughs> Even though the estimated popularity is 29%. That's probably not good. So really we can, like... Seeing here if we can legalize, uh... Weed. Let's see. That'll make a lot of people happy. Eliminate the war on drugs. It would not only eliminate the war on drugs, but it would make uh, all those liberals extremely happy and probably give us some, uh... Ban Sunday shopping. I can ban Sunday shopping to really appeal to the Christians. That's stupid. That is stupid. All right. Um, and I'm sure this Let's Play will not get me flamed by freaking everybody. But anyway. So, school prayers. Interesting. Should we do an opinion disclaimer? An opinion disclaimer? Yeah. Go for it. Our views do not necessarily dictate the views of the many. They are just our personal views. Please don't hate us for them. We are individuals, which is a wonderful thing that we have in this country. So, don't be dicks. <laughs> right. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go ahead and legalize prostitution. Even though the estimated popularity with the voters is only 29%, I'm going to do it anyway. Now, we won't necessarily see the effect until later, but let's see. What is this exactly? Oh, okay, I see. So we can... 
All right, so we're pissing off. So, so this is how much money we spend to regulate it. So at maximum, we're pissing off conservatives and the religious. Uh, we're upsetting parents a little bit. They're going to lose about 10%. Um, they already hate us, though. We'll deal with that elsewhere. Uh, but the liberals will go up and the GDP will go up because we will be bringing income since we're essentially taxing prostitution. And creating jobs. And creating jobs. So we're going to go and maximize legalization of prostitution. So right here, this is political capital. Oh, thank you, tutorial guy. Uh, this shows you have been working for each government, each minister has this for Uh-huh, okay. All right, I get it. I get it. I Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Where, where's everyone's faces? That's my question. There's, like, no faces here. Um, so... Okay, so every turn you get so much political capital, uh, I get 26. And I only have one capital left, I think, because I spent it all... Yeah, I spent it all on legalizing prostitution. So the more, um, uh, the more polarizing an issue is, the more political capital it takes to actually pull it off. So we only have one political power left, or one political capital left. Um, so really all we can do is look at one issue and try to tweak it a little bit. So if we highlight liberal, let's see, what do they not like? What is this? Border controls. Not really caring. Citizenship tests, armed police, handgun laws, narcotics, alcohol law. Let's look at the alcohol law. Minimum age is 21. So if I lower the drinking age, I can't go below. Oh, there we go. So if I lower the alcohol age, it makes liberal ha liberals happy, um, increases alcohol consumption, increases violent crime, and what is youth? Oh, the, the youth vote. I see. So... Let's see, okay, and I can't change it because here it shows to lower the drinking age would cost me nine political capital, to raise it would cost me 13. I probably can't do anything more um, since I only have one political capital left. So basically any of these white icons I can change, but like I'm just clicking at random here, you can see that as I'm clicking, all I see is like twos at best. So it looks like I can't do anything for now. So we're going to go ahead and end our turn. Apparently in my... Fr uh, your move, America. Your move. And each turn uh, is three months. So quarterly report. So here we go. Uh, after my first three months in office, the GDP has gone up due to our wonderful uh, taxing of prostitutes. Now. <laughs> um, budget's bad. I don't really care polls report is disappointing if we believe the polls you would get 25 percent of the vote luckily i have four years to fix that so we'll be all right okay so uh now i have 27 political capital so what uh what issues are important to you what should we change um how's education looking um pretty shitty actually where is the fix that Polling. Oh, hey, polling helps. Focus groups. You know what? Uh, no, no, that's that's okay. We'll, we'll. Oh, I'm actually not reading that fast. I'm just sort of right. Okay. All right. Okay. Here's education. Actually, our education rating is A plus, which is definitely not the way it is in real life. But anyway. Oh, who know? Um. Let's see. We have quite a bit of skills shortage. So it's like people don't have very good uh, information technology, I guess. Let's see. Abortion law, creationism versus... Yeah, I'm not touching that one. Um, I'll touch that one. <laughs> I'll put my hands all over that one. It doesn't seem... Okay, wait. Okay. Oh, okay. So I can click whatever from here. Okay, so... Technology, our rating for technology for education is pretty low. So if I click that, our science funding is really low. So I click that. Okay, here's science funding. We have 0% popularity with the voters. Um, so we can increase our costs, or it, we increase how much we're spending. We're 
on science. So let's uh, increase our spending. So now we're going to be spending, let's see, currently we're spending how much? 48 billion a quarter on it, on science. Let's double it to 96. Can you tax churches? Oh, wow, that would maximize it. Oh, well, we'll double it. Can I tax churches? I want to see if you can do that. Let's... <laughs> oh, my God. We're already becoming corrupt. Let's see. Can I tax churches? Okay. First, I got to find the religious. All right. Legalized prostitution. They don't like creationism versus... I don't know. I don't think I can. Let's see. That's law and order. That's public services. Taxes. Um... No, it just looks like I'm taxing, uh... Oh, okay, that's direct tax on people. That's income tax. Okay, I see. Tobacco tax, car tax, hybrid cars initiative, corporation tax, property tax, gas tax, sales tax, capital gains tax. Wow, there are a lot of taxes. Um... But here, corporation tax. The corporations are only paying 16%. So obviously we want to increase that, right? Is not a thing. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, uh-huh. I knew you'd be distracted if I do this. A friend of mine accidentally traded their starter away on Wonder Trade for a level 5 Bidoof. <laughs> so, okay, so... Here we are in the corporation tax screen. Right now okay. they're paying 16%. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I thought. You all should have seen her face. So we're getting an income of $154 billion a quarter. I think we should make the corporations pay for the science tax I just implemented. Yep. So we need to add about $100 billion a quarter. <laughs> so that brings it up to... Let's see. It was 150 So about there we'll make it 26 percent so the so socialists are happy capitalists are not wealthy or not self-employed or not gdp goes down by increasing taxes oh because they wouldn't have as much to spend on right okay that's fine i don't actually really care so we're going ahead and doing that <laughs> so they're upset which is fine and then our last thing we only have two political capital left and you want to use as much as you can every turn because sometimes um oops party show political activists get out vote right okay the democrats me uh-huh activists wow that plummeted for some reason anyway so we only have uh two political capital left i can raise or lower this food standards a food standards agency um eh, screw it let's not change that so that's good enough for now later if we have the budget for it we should indeed okay and so this is a uh this is our first um serious situation that we have to decide a debt protection law debt collection agencies have been in the news because of the aggressive methods they are using to extract payment from people who owe large sums of money these debt collection agencies provide credit to people whom larger, more respectable companies will not lend money. A law is proposed to limit the ways in which such agencies can operate. That's basically limiting loan sharks. Exactly. And we want to do that. Yes. fuck loan sharks. Those so, guys are dicks. Uh, so we will... Let's see. We are limiting agent whatever. And that's it. That's turn two. Oh, we've been office for six months. In the office for six months, we haven't died yet. Unemployment's going down. Yeah. Excellent. And healthcare still sucks. Look at all those legal prostitutes on the corner. <laughs> They're educated too. Look at that education. Uh, They're education smart line. hookers. They are very smart hookers. What is this issue? Skill shortage. Businesses tell us they simply cannot find enough skilled and trained people to employ. The modern economy is increasingly skills-based, and our citizens just aren't educated enough to take their place in the modern workforce. That's not good. But apparently we have been helping out a little, because the blue line's been dropping. So. so we hover over this, and we see what's going on with it. Technology is in the green, but education is in the red. So let's... Again, let's see, what can we do here? Technology colleges. Okay. So I can invest money in technology colleges. Let's do that. Maximum. Education goes up, technology goes up, and so on. So clearly, 
I'm caring more about education than I am with anything else. Okay, state textbooks. There we go. So let's increase student laptops. Poverty goes down. Unemployment goes down? Why would unemployment go down? Oh, unemployment goes down. That's good. Poverty goes down. That's good. Some of the things here are confusing like that. Like, it's not just a simple, you know, the more green you see, the better. Whoops. Yeah. So we actually want that to happen. So we're going to do that. Um, wait, how much were we? Okay, it's 95 billion a quarter, and I'm proposing to, like, make it two and a half times that. Um, okay, I don't think we can quite afford that much. We can, let's see, let's at least go to 180 billion a quarter. But now we're going to have to find some way to pay for that so we don't tank our GDP. <coughs> yeah. Okay, so we don't have that much left again in political capital. And there's no other, let's see, health food subsidies. Okay, we'll have to look at the tax policies in the next turn and see what we can do to increase um, some revenue. Because right now, oh, our income is actually pretty high. How's our income so high? Let's see, income tax. Oh, from the corporation tax, of course. Excellent. Yeah, screw the, screw the corporations. Uh, all right, here's our uh, here's our uh, problem for today. The our dilemma. A law has been proposed to regulate the fat content and nutritional value of foods sold to children, including foods sold in fast food restaurants. And of course, food served in schools. This is likely to incur costs for the food retailers. I'm not really in favor of regulating children's food because that should be a parent's job, shouldn't it? Mm. Yeah, but parents are bad at it. Well, yeah, but that's not our problem. That's not the government's problem. And besides, if we educate them, maybe they'll make better health decisions. Good point. Plus it'll cost us money. We don't want to cost any more money. We're putting money in an education. So we're going to leave the law unchanged. Uh, and that way, the food retailers can do whatever they want. Well, I'm going to call the episode here. I haven't really decided how long they're going to be, but we're approaching 20 minutes. And heck, that's been six months of our reign of terror in the United States. So tune in tomorrow to see how the rest of this year plays out. Thanks for watching, everyone.